G'day viewers, we're up the other end. We're on Bremen Oldenburg and we're at Oldenburg and we're going to have a look at the 463.0 cab car. Down the other end is the 110 that we looked at in the other tutorial. So let's jump in. Now you can either come in through this compartment or you can come in through the cargo doors. I'm going to use the cargo doors because they just look cool. Nice little animations there. Let's step into the cab. Now this tutorial we're going to run safety systems. First thing I want to do is come over here and find the PZB switch. There it is. And switch on PZB and check your headlights. So in this case we are on headlights. It's often on tail lights when you come in here. You don't really need to touch any of the other switches and most of them are just cosmetic anyway. So let's jump down here into the chair and we want to get our doors open. So like before, on the reverser, get it into forwards mode and we can open the doors. Now there are um, door controls in here you can use or you can just use your usual buttons for your uh, controller or keyboard, whatever it is you prefer. Let's get the window open. This thing is not motorized, so it's dead set quiet. So the more sound, the better as far as I'm concerned. Now, other fun stuff, safety systems. CIFA down here, big valve, big red thing. Not that red thing, that's a bad red thing. This is a good red thing. All right, CIFA Acknowledge is here. Windscreen wipers if you need them. It's a switch just like the uh, 110 is. Yeah, it's running now. So we'll just turn that off again. And if it stops in a place you don't like, you can move it, so that's all fine. There's destination indicator there. Actually, there is one more switch you might want to play with up here. And it's the destination board light. We'll put that on. Got that. Not much point during the day, but anyway, it's on now. We can lock our doors. We are in forwards. An emergency power off. Interesting. Now let's hit the brake key. Let's get that on. Let's get our driver's brake on a little bit. Same deal, you're tied in with the dynamic brake and you can still move it independently. You've still got a driver's brake. Now you're controlling the locomotive from the other end. You have a speedo. You don't have a tap changer indicator at this one. You've got a desk light you can turn on if you want. Signal lights normal, so that's fine. That's the white lights at the front. See for indicator test. Well, it's pretty you can't see it. It's over there somewhere. But anyway, that's all good. Instrument lights, let's turn them on. And we've got our normal PZB acknowledge, relate, and override. Let's get the doors closed. And let's get out of here. Horn if you feel like using it. Big black button. Now, this thing controls the tap wheel at the other end. And you either have run down, which means it's bringing the taps down at the other end, or you have hold, or you have run up. And every time you click run up, it taps one at the other end. So let's just bring it back to run down. Let's get our brakes off. Release everything, they're coming off. So let's run up a couple of top notches. Now remember, like before, if you go too far, you'll blow it. So the brakes are off and we are moving. If you blow the breaker, you can reset it remotely. Oh, we want our traction motor fans on as well. There's your main breaker one right there. So if you need to, you can fix it. Now we are happily powering. So these gauges show that we are still powering up. And just like before, you need to keep that below 40. Now it's safe for us to release, so I'm going to. I'm going to release from PZB. And you'll notice that it stopped flashing, so we can uh, accelerate up. Now I know the HUD is showing an interlock. This is his CIFA. This is an, uh, a pre-early access version that I've been given to create these tutorials for you. The 
but just bear in mind things might be a little bit different by the time you see them. Now what I'm going to do is deliberately blow the breaker at the other end. Let's get through this signal first though, because we're going to have to acknowledge it. Lifa? We don't have to acknowledge that. Okay, all good. But now I'm just going to tap up lots and lots and lots and lots and lots, and I'm going to blow the breaker until it goes bang. There we go. So if that happens to you, just throttle off, let it come down, you don't have to stop the train. Reset your breaker. You won't hear anything. You don't get that nice big satisfying thump that you do at the other end. And now we can just start running up again. There's C for again. So remember as long as you keep that power meter down at about 40 or less, you'll be fine. keys or controller buttons work for the throttle. It's the ups and downs. It's the big lift bridge for the barges to go under. None there at the moment. Now like most cab cars it's pretty quiet. Now the next Cifra I'm not going to acknowledge because I want to show you how to get out of that. when you want a Cifer. Here we go. So I'm going to wait till this puts the brakes on. Alright, so it started stopping us. We'll acknowledge the Cifer. And we will throttle off. Wait for our brake pipe pressure to come back up. Brakes have started to release so you can start to tap up. Just a couple so you don't roll. Brakes will release and then you'll be able to start to move. You see we are using power on the motor strong gauge. So we will start moving in a moment as the brakes do their thing. Here we go. Releasing from a PZB and post stop is the same. So you can just acknowledge, release, wait for the brake pipe brake to release themselves and then off you go. Tap up and continue. Trying to keep the power usage down so we don't blow the breaker. Let's see for again. Now the next thing is a self-imposed emergency brake, so let's do that. Right, we've applied the brakes. The taps are coming down by themselves, but we still need to bring that down to throttle off and we can release the emergency brake and we will see after a little while that our brake pressure starts to drop so you can see the brake pipe going up so it's getting pumped up and you should see this yellow needle here start to come down there we do let's just run up just a couple of taps now the hud will tell you what tap you're up to but it's the only way you'll know it so if you like to play without the hud you just have to keep in your head what you're up to. And we'll move off in a moment once the brakes settle down. There we go. Moving again. Just tap up again now. Now well, that's about all I wanted to show you for the cab car it's a bit simpler than the other one but remember you're driving that complex thing down the other end so your friend is the motor strong gear so that tells you if you're applying too much power
But when you do, you pop that breaker. Alrighty, that's about all I wanted to show you. So, thanks for watching. Hope this is useful. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments below and I will see what I can do to help you out. Now, this is a pre-release early access version, so it may look and behave just a little bit differently when you get hold of it. Alrighty, thanks. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to, join up as a member help support things. Kick things running smoothly and happily and get you stuff to play with and show you guys. Alrighty, see you later.